guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. Today I'm going to be making some miniature school supplies. Now, miniature DIYs are like already super cute, but the fact that all of these DIYs do actually work just makes it even cuter. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. By the way, I am currently having a giveaway on my previous video where you can win a Polaroid camera. So in case you haven't entered, I will have a link down below. And now without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So for the first mini school supply, I'm going to be making a super adorable notebook. What I'm going to do is take a piece of paper and start marking down the pages. So I am making a 1.5 by 2.5 inch rectangle here. And of course you will need several of these rectangles depending on how thick or thin you want your notebook to be. So here I'm cutting out only one rectangle because I already cut out all of the pages before I started filming this video. Now you want to fold your rectangle in half like I'm doing here and then you just want to gather all of the pages that you made and just put them all together. Now that we have the pages for our notebook, we are going to make the notebook cover. I have a pink piece of cardstock here. You can use any color that you want. And I'm going to take the page that we made for our notebook, the rectangle, and I'm going to use that as a guide to make the notebook cover. You want the cover to be slightly bigger than the pages so that the pages don't pop out. So using a pencil, I just made markings for the size and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Of course, you do want to fold the notebook cover in half as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the pages inside, flip it over and take my stapler and staple it down. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know that I made a miniature notebook video before as well. I think that was about a year ago. And in that video, to combine the pages, what I did is I actually punched holes and then I took jump rings to attach that all together. This way is completely different than the one that I did that time. And I think that this is actually easier to do because everyone almost has a stapler. Anyway, if you would like inspiration for the notebook cover design, you should totally watch that video because I made some really cute designs. Now for this one, I decided to keep it simple. So I'm just adding a cute face onto it. This is completely optional and kind of extra, but I'm going to make an elastic closure for the notebook. I took some elastic thread, cut a piece of that, and I'm going to color it using some acrylic paint. I decided to color mine using black. At the back of the notebook, I'm going to make two little markings for where I want to punch the holes. Now, if you don't have a hole puncher that is small like mine, you can use any pointy object to poke the holes, but be sure to put a piece of cork underneath so that you don't end up hurting yourself. Then you want to put the elastic thread through the back and tie a knot. And if there is any extra thread kind of popping out, you can go ahead and cut that off. This is kind of a hard part for me to explain, but I'm gonna try my best. So what I did is I took the elastic thread and I'm going to kind of wrap it around from the front and then put it through the back hole and tie a knot again. And here is your completed mini notebook. For the next DIY, I'm going to be making a super cute pencil case. So for this DIY, you're going to need craft foam, which I'm going to go ahead and cut in a rectangle shape. Then you're also going to need Velcro tape. I got this from the dollar store and I'm going to cut a piece of that. 
I'm going to peel off the back and just stick that in place. Next, you want to put some hot glue on the sides and then go ahead and fold this in half. So this is pretty much your pencil case all done. You can draw whatever design you want on this. I'm going to make a pair of closed eyes and a smiley face. And here is the completed pencil case. Next, I'm going to be making a miniature eraser. So what I did is I took an actual eraser and I'm going to cut that basically into a miniature eraser. You can also make this using like eraser making clay, but I just thought that this would be an easier way to do it. Now that I have my miniature eraser, I'm going to make the label. So I took a piece of paper and I'm going to color that using a marker and just wrap that around. And here is your mini eraser all done. For the final DIY, we're going to be making a pencil. So I'm going to take a regular pencil and break that in half. I tried doing this on camera, but I just could not do it for the life of me. So once I broke the pencil, I'm going to take my blade and try to split the pencil in half. This is very easy to do. Then all you want to do is take out the pencil lead from the inside and then I'm going to sharpen it up using an X-Acto knife. Be very careful when you're doing this so that you don't end up hurting yourself. You're also going to need polymer clay for this DIY. I'm using yellow but you can obviously use whatever color that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this out very thinly, cut off any extra clay and then I'm going to wrap the clay around the pencil lead. I wanted to make the eraser on top of the pencil an actual eraser, so I'm going to use eraser making clay for this. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake that in the oven for only 3 minutes. And here is your completed pencil. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in a comment which DIY was your favorite. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you so much and I will see you in my next one.